Um, yeah, what's the question? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my name is Julian De Freitas, and I'm an assistant professor in the marketing unit at Harvard Business School. I study ethical intelligence, which is how the moral psychology of consumers colors their attitudes toward firms and how firms can market in ways that are sensitive to these moral buttons in turn. I tend to go after this through specific case studies, especially involving new technology that is AI-based. An alumnus from my lab came to tell us about a new startup that he had created in the self-driving vehicle space. He also talked about the so-called trolley problem, this idea that one day these vehicles might need to be endowed with some kind of moral compass in order to decide who to save in a dilemma. That got us talking about the ethics of this technology. We struck up a collaboration and the rest is history. Increasingly more capable AI-based technology might finally allow us to solve some of society's most stubborn problems, such as road fatalities and societal loneliness, which have remained relatively flat or even have increased over time. One of my cases is about a company named Replica AI, which provides a conversational chatbot companion. The CEO is trying to decide what to do because she discovers that around half of her customers are dealing with some kind of mental health problem. She has to decide, should I provide an AI companion that is just a friend that people talk to, or should I provide a dedicated mental health solution? In the classroom, students have to put themselves in the shoes of the CEO and decide where along the spectrum Replica should situate itself. I brought with me my Iron Man finisher t-shirt. I think it embodies well the philosophy of what I decide to work on when I'm thinking about what project to pursue next and what I communicate to the students in my lab who are thinking about the same thing. I often point out to them that no matter what you work on, it's going to involve a lot of blood, sweat and tears. So you might as well pick a project that just seems really awesome, that seems almost impossible to achieve at the outset. When the going gets tough, and it will, you'll be motivated to push yourself across the finish line. And when you finally do, you'll likely forget most of the hardship you encountered. And instead, you'll just be left with this sense of great accomplishments and that anything is possible. And you might also get a free t-shirt.